So here's the thing. I did 33 minutes and I could have stopped because I did a 30 minute program and I'm Peloton. Then I did another uh, five minute cool down. And uh, I said, okay, I could stop. It's like 40 minutes. And then I said, you know what? Where am I going? Um, I could ride. I could continue to ride. So I did. And uh, I decided to put on my Apple TV, my iPad that's on my bike right in front of me. And I'm watching the uh, COVID discussions with Oprah and Idris Elba. Um, really interesting. But what I realized is that you can ride as long as you want to ride, which means you can do whatever you want to do as long as you want to do it. And uh, that was the switch or the pivot for me tonight. Um, you know, I could have done other things at this time and just sat there on my phone and, uh, you know, scrolled Instagram or looked at Facebook scrolled Instagram, looked at Facebook, then back, forth, back, forth, which we all seem to do at some particular point, but I kept the uh, tension somewhat uh, fair, but keep riding, checking out my heart rate monitor here to keep my heart rate in that, you know, 128, 130, 140 zone, cooling down, but keeping my legs fluid and moving and just realizing that I feel good and I could have had every excuse in the book not to get a workout in today. And um, not a lot of people know that I have Lyme disease. Technically, I was diagnosed with chronic Lyme disease in 2014 after 10 months of a host of symptoms that um, were not coming up in blood work uh, with Lyme. And my doctor, general practitioner, DO, had Lyme, so she was testing for it all along the way. And uh, that's an insidious uh, disease as well. And I don't choose to be owning of any disease or symptom that I might have. And since 2014, it's really been a long haul of getting myself healthy and working my immune system uh, and my body to be as strong and bolstered as possible. And the last two years have been quite honestly, year and a half, really the best years that I have felt really, really good. And um, this whole situation we're going through with COVID right now um, really didn't hit me between the eyes until about two weeks ago when things started to change because technically I fall in the category of immunosuppressed. Uh, no, sorry. Yeah, immunosuppressed. Um, and uh, my immune is not as strong as most other people on a day-to-day -day basis knowing that I have this. So I work extra hard to eat well, to work out, and um, to really just be my best. And it's a combination of things. It's eating well, meditation, work-life balance, sleeping well, um, and uh, those kind of things you start to take for granted in your life until you hit a big bump in the road or a hiccup, which I had in 2014. So here we are in 2020 and I've taken many, many efforts and strides to get here. And so when you sit and uh, contemplate what's going on right now in this world, you don't realize the liberties we have for being a human and for also living in this life today that we get to live with all of the things that we sometimes take for granted. So, you know, here I am riding the bike at um, 8.51 on a Tuesday night, which in some cases I probably wouldn't have ever gone to the gym because I would normally be up at uh, 5, 5.30 in the morning the next day and then on the road by about 6, 6.30 commuting to work. And um, I'm really grateful right now that I get to be in a home that has um, food and light and shelter. Um, I'm safe and I'm healthy. And yeah, you could say that sometimes it gets a little stir crazy, 
but I don't know how we could ever get bored. There are so many things that we can do with our mind and otherwise, but I guess I just wanted to ramble on. No, I wanted to say that uh, we always have a choice to do whatever we want to do um, while we are living and breathing on our own accord. And I think that's the one thing um, that rises to the top of this list is to really be mindful and to know that each of us must do our part in what's happening right now and really not take for granted anything that we get to do while we are living. And that's like, you know, the biggest takeaway from all of this is really be grateful and know that, you know, at some point we're all going to get back into the swing of things, but we're going to have a different way of the way we look at it. And uh, whatever you're doing with this time, you can't be bored. Do something. Really. Do something. Learn a language. Um, do a crossword puzzle. Uh, start to write with your left hand if you're right-handed. Challenge your mind. Move your body. Because um, none of this, and I know I say this and I'm below the record, is anything that we can take for granted because we don't know tomorrow and we only know today. So I'm probably well past about an hour and, I don't know, 15 minutes on the bike. My legs will probably be a little jello and my butt is definitely gonna be sore from this bike. But the one thing is that I know is that I did it because I took action. So I don't know what you guys did tonight, today, but you got tomorrow, you got the next five minutes. Take action, do something with this time, make it worthwhile, because there's gonna be a point in time we're gonna look back on it and wish we had more time to ourselves. Use it wisely. Be safe, be well, peace, leave me love.